So I was in seventh grade and my teacher's name was Ned Serleth at North Cumberland Elementary in Crossville. And he let me borrow a book. And it was The Line, The Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. And I read this book and I hadn't read anything with that sort of depth in literature yet. And I remember thinking, this is something special. And I don't know exactly what it is, but I know that I want to do something in this Use category. The phrase, I think. Okay, we have said in, in the past I would say the biggest challenge with teaching is breaking some of the stigma that students have about kind of the social structure with where they are and our, our demographic. If I could give students any piece of advice, I would tell them to work hard, you know, and that's also my greatest struggle as a teacher is I can't teach you work ethic. So I think just being able to make enough of an impact that my students learn that that's something that's much needed for our, our civilization, um, for our state, our country, our community, um, that you can go out and do something great and bring it back here to Sparta you know, and make this place a better place and pay that homage to your grandparents that lived here or your great grandparents that lived here um, and continue to make it a great place to be. The thing that I expect most out of my students is respect because I feel like if we have that as common ground, it doesn't matter how many missing assignments that you have or how different that we are in our learning styles because we have to meet on a level ground and I tell my students that it's like a mirror you know what you put out is what you're going to get back as far as discipline and so if you respect me I'm going to respect you and I try to always respect them and not degrade them as well. If I am showing my students that I can be humble and I can admit when I'm wrong that they're looking at themselves not as they're entitled or anything like that, but then they're like, yeah, I messed up. And if I can teach them that that's okay and that I'm a human and that they're human and we all mess up, I think that's the biggest thing that I can model for them. And if we can all just see each other as being like equals in some way, um, I think if I can teach them that and that you need to admit when you're wrong, that that's gonna be something that they can carry over into adulthood that's really going to help them in their places of work and their relationships. And that's what I hope to, to impress upon them. Had broken her neck. And <laughs> <laughs> I think staying like current with high school students and what they're dealing with really helps me to approach things and try to lead in love. Um, because I feel like as adults we sometimes look down on students and think oh we're so much better we have arrived you know and it like I think being able to approach things with compassion because we see the reality of it every single day is the biggest thing that I'm I've gained sure. especially the main characters I feel like so many times we're like content 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 and we're like ACT and EOC and we get so bogged down with all the paperwork and it really just boils down to the climate of your classroom and teaching students that we're all smart in different ways. Just because they're not smart in my classroom or that's not their thing doesn't mean that they each don't have a special talent or gift. Oh wait, right here, Lemons is an overachiever. And I try to pull that out and bring that in and I think that shows them too that I respect them and so they respect me. Um, kind of as a byproduct of that. And also how it affects the other characters. So those are things that can... And I think most teachers have a story similar to this one where some teacher showed us something or helped us do something and the only way that we know to repay them is to pay it forward. And so I feel like it's a profession that isn't often viewed as a career or a profession. And I think it's kind of like being a parent, really. And I love being a parent, so you know, love my job.